Um, there was a song back in the day, but it has nothing to do with this. Actually, it has everything to do with this. But Nate Robinson, mm-hmm. slam dunk champ, two time, three time. I think it was three time. Three time slam dunk champ. Three time slam dunk champ. Yeah, Seattle five nine. Seattle superhero, five nine, mm-hmm. athletic, um, multiple sport athlete. I mean, what can I yep. say? Football, basketball, you name it, he got it. Thought he could box. Listen, I'm from, I'm not from the streets. I don't have hands. If I was from the streets and I had hands, I would think I had hands too. Sure. Okay? Mm-hmm. Some tall white kid. He's being like a little bit of a douche. He's, he's talking shit. Mm-hmm. I'm Nate Robinson. Y'all beat your ass. I'm Nate Rob. I'm Nate Rob. Nate Rob. I'm beat your ass. Let's fight. But this kid got clout behind him. You know what I mean? So set it up. Set it up. You know what I mean? Like, let's, let's do this. Put it on the biggest stage. Mm-hmm. So Nate's like, yo, yeah, let's do that. I'm going to do it for my niggas. I'm going to do it for the NBA, for the hood. For, for Seattle. For my mamas in them. For Seattle in them. For the athletes who could do different sports and people don't know. He wanted to do it for everybody, right? And all that's cool. But here's the thing. Here's my thing. Where are your real friends? Right? <laughs> Where are your, your friends who say, yo, my man... You never fought in a ring before. It's a little different. That's all you had to say. Boxing is different. And uh, yeah, it's not for everybody. It ain't for me. I know that. It's not for, it's not for me. It's, it's not, not for, for me. everybody. But, but real friends would say, hey, big dog, I say you give it a couple. You know, you train for a good substantial amount of time. You get in the ring. You have a couple of fights. You do this shit before. You don't just step into the ring without any experience and get your ass knocked out on the ground. People's judgment changes when there's a bag attached. And I saw this, um, I saw this, this quote from, uh, it was from Andrew Schultz. He's a comedian. I listened to some of his podcasts. He said, people think because they can fight that they can box. People think because they're athletes, football, basketball, baseball, soccer, whatever, that they can fight. Like boxing is not a sport. Boxing is war. Boxing is a metaphor for war. Fighting is a metaphor for war. Like a basketball game is a basketball game is not war. A football game is not war. A literal boxing, like keeping yourself alive, one person against self one defense. person. Survival of the fittest. The yeah. truest last man standing. Yeah, yeah. In my opinion, thing. the truest form of survival of the fittest is in right. a boxing ring. If you don't have that well, mentality. Now is that, to me is now MMA. Honestly, truly. I think it's still boxing. Really? I think it's still boxing because of like the historical foundation well, yes. of, Histor- historic, of historic. boxing. I'm, I was just more so saying like MMA is crazy right now. Like it's it, it's wild, dangerous to me. But I do believe that boxing is the yeah. most historical for sure. Continue. I mean, it's the there's the thing is is like it's it's war, it's boxing, and it's UFC. Yeah. Like it's like it's like that's that's exactly what it is. Yeah. And Nate Robinson does not have a boxing history. Come Jake on. Paul does. So it doesn't matter if you're five nine and you're dunking on Dwight Howard. That does nothing for you in a boxing ring. Who have you number beat one, up? Who have you beat up? And number who one, you don't have the mentality of it being war. And number two, you don't have the skill. So it doesn't matter how tough you are. This like is anybody so could go in there against like the worst boxer. I had a high school English teacher that told me this story uh, about way back in the day. I'll never forget the story. It was back in the 70s. And he was at a bar. And he was with this woman. And this dude, this little dude had to be like 5'1", 5'1", 100 pounds, 105 pounds soaking wet. Came up to his girl, trying to flirt with his girl. Homeboy was tall. Homeboy was about my height. Told him like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? Get away from my girl. And he was like, I didn't know she was your girl. 5'1", is really small. It's really small. And that's how- a small man. It's a small nigga. That's a disrespectful man. That's a disrespectfully short man. If a 5'1 nigga came up to me and I'm 5'9", I'm feeling, and you're talking to my girl with- Okay, continue. This yeah, is just so, homeboy, so homeboy is like, yo, I didn't know this was your girl. Relax. So homeboy's like, nah, I'm not going to relax. Fuck that. I'm going to fuck you up. All right, let's go to the back. Little man is like, let's go to the back. Let's work. My English, he's got his ass washed. Turns out homeboy was a featherweight Mexican boxing champion. That's not fair. They're not supposed to do that. They have license to kill. These are licensed. But are you calling the police when a 5-1 person beats you up? Who are you telling? Who are you telling that a 5-1 nigga beat you up? I'm, I'm te- he's a professional boxer. I'm telling. I'm not telling I'm te- anybody. Because anybody, nobody's you're gonna know he's good, a boxer just good, by looking good. at him. No, no, you're good. You're good. Nigga, this thing is a professional boxer. Google him. Uh, I mean, there was no Google back then. So that's why yeah, like, facts, you find facts, out facts. in hindsight that this is what this guy does for a living. 
So it's like, it doesn't matter how, how big or strong or tough you think you are. Like, boxers are warriors. Yeah. And, they, and they practice as such. Like, even sparring is like survival of the fittest. So, I mean, listen, I didn't watch any of these boxing matches over the weekend oh, because I just thought it, was a, I thought it was a ridiculous spectacle. Mike Tyson is old as shit. Roy Jones is old as shit. Nate Robinson is not a boxer. Jake Paul has boxing experience, but he's not a boxer. So I didn't see any entertainment in it. I didn't see the benefit in watching. Yo, memes okay, so were hilarious, I, though. Let me give you. So let me give you a, a, a side, my side on, on this, because uh -huh. here's what you were missing, right? For whatever reason, I'm in Florida now, so it's a little different. So I'm at a I'm at a restaurant, um, a sports bar that's showing, you know, socially distanced table, mask, blah blah blah, mm -hmm. that's showing the fights, and. Obviously, there's, a, you know, it's, 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 it's white people there and there's black people there, right? Mm -hmm. So the fight before this was like a white guy and a black guy. And, like, I was cool, whatever, it was fine. But for whatever reason, it was different when Nate Robinson was fighting Jake Paul. Because it was the douchebag white guy, and then, like, I felt like Nate was my cousin. <laughs> right? So I felt like, damn, like, he got to put on... Like, by default, like, he can't get his ass beat by this white boy. So that's, that's the stance I'm on right now. On national television, I'm, I'm here in the mixed crowd. I don't want to see Nate lose. I'm going to tell you right now, I know a lot of niggas that have gone out in these streets, seen a white boy they think is for play play, and getting knocked the fuck out. Yeah, don't sleep on the white boy. Don't, do, not, do not sleep on the white boy. Do not sleep on... Like, do you on, see, like... Don't sleep on I, people because of how Don't they sleep look. on people in general. But in general. You got, it's like a certain type of white boy. Like that Jake Paul type, like that that bro type. Yeah. Like you know what they do for fun? They they bro punch shit. each other in the yeah, dick. They, bro shit. Yeah, they, they punch they each bro other shit. in the dick for fun. That's what white boys do. Yeah, yeah. They they're trained. That's what they do. They punch each other in the dick. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. Go. Go. dude. Oh. That's what they do. <laughs> so you goes. being tough in front of them ain't gonna do shit to them. Because yeah. they get punched in the dick by their brothers as they grow up. It's I have multiple questions for you on this because the male ego, right? Yeah. And then the willingness versus the willingness to want to do something different, right? So, like, my question for you is, if you're Nate Robinson, mm -hmm. are you on the stance of I'm not letting this white boy beat me up or I want to try boxing? I want to be, I want to, I want to be really good at boxing. Like... He wanted a bag. He wanted a bag, huh? He wanted a bag, and he wanted he wanted social media to be on fire after he beat up. I don't think it had, from Nate Robb's perspective, I don't think it had anything to do with him like beating this white boy's ass. I just think he wanted a bag. He probably prepped for it. He probably um, I did see like an opinion where if he, if Nate Robb was in the like in the shape that he needed to be in, like sparring wise. Like you gotta, we gotta like find a sparring partner and see what that was like. We gotta see if he was like timid, if he was hesitant, if he the didn't like get hit team in the Reyes. face. I was so disappointed in Team Fucking Reyes displays of, of, of coaching ability. I would be but embarrassed we, to wear a Team Reyes. That he got, he got clobbered. We gotta understand something. Like the thing about war is like, no, who likes getting hit in the face? Most people don't. Most people don't like getting hit in the face. And and once some most people get hit in the face, what do they do? Party done. Grand opening, grand closing. Once you get hit in the face, you got to stand in there and get hit in the face multiple times. Multiple times. And Nate, You're ducking during jabs to the face. And during sparring, Nate probably got hit in the face a bunch of times and was just like, "This ain't for me." You could just tell. I saw from the highlights. He could just, in that ring. You could tell he was like, "This ain't for me." No, the first he got hit. hit in the, he got hit in the face. This ain't for me. This ain't. Yo, for, oh shit! On the this first hit, really he ain't for me. Him, he was like, "I don't want to do this." And he laid there. And he contemplated. He was like, "Ah, should I get up? Should I get up?" It was like seven second pride. Count. Pride and ego. That's why he, he got, got knocked up. out. The second hit, it was clear in his eyes, yo, Trev. Like, you see in his eyes, I don't want to do this. I can't do this no more physically. That's why he didn't even see the last one hit coming. 99% of humanity does not want to get hit in the face. And once they do, it's a wrap. I just, so it is what it is. I don't think, I don't think Nate Robb really looks bad. He just he doesn't box, and he tried to box. But I think here – so my question I wrote down was – do you look bad when you go on a Zoom and you say, I'm doing it for the hood and I'm doing it for my kids, and you don't do it? Does that make you look bad? Does it matter? 
Uh, don't. It really doesn't matter. All right, cool. So moving on. Next topic. <laughs> so um, Roy, jo- Roy, jo- uh, uh, Roy Jones was the only man alive over the age of 50 who was brave enough to say, I want to take a hit for Mike Tyson. I know that you don't care too much about this fight, but here's what mm-hmm. I will say about this fight. I, someone who never really followed boxing, or these two really, but just heard of the tales of their greatness, appreciated mm-hmm. watching old heads still be crafty in or still be masters and crafty in their sport. Mm-hmm. It was dope. Yeah. Mike still go. You feel Absolutely. me? Absolutely. All eight rounds, he still went. Um, Roy was trying some new shit with the side punch. Um, so he was like looking at you like here, but punching like this. And so it was throwing me off a little bit. I don't know if that was like his old school move, but he looked good too. You know what I mean? And so like I appreciated watching these guys work. So I will yeah, say that. That was Roy's thing though when he was. I mean, I followed a lot of Roy and a lot of Mike Tyson okay, when I was okay. a kid, a whole lot. And Roy Jones at one point, Roy Jones was the best boxer in the world for okay. an extended period of time. Like he would win okay. fights. He was flashy. The whole like side punch thing you just described. Like he would, yeah. like he would put his hands down, get in your face, shit like that. It was all really that exciting. Side punch is his. That's, that's his signature move. I don't, I don't, I've never seen the side okay. punch from him before. That's probably some new shit. It's, 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 it's more so, it's more, it's more so, it looks more like this. I'm facing you. I can't show Like you the, like the Pat Mahomes, like no hood, like no yeah, look pass. Yeah, it's like a little that. patty, a little patty. Yeah, I get, I get, I get that. It was probably some flat. He was just a flashy guy and he was really talented. And I think with those guys, like you never lose the, as far as like the, the intelligence is like a good, like a good coach. Like Magic will never forget all the all the basketball he knows. He might not be able to do what he did physically 25 years ago, but he'll never forget how to do it. And I think with those guys, they don't forget how to do it. Like for me, I just, like I said, I just I was just not interested in it. These guys are old, and it's not even just the fact that they're old. Like I I don't want to see that. I don't think they need that. I don't they I don't want to see it, former it was a, it former was... greats out there just like. I, it's not. It wasn't. It wasn't. Me. It wasn't. It wasn't a wash. It. I, I'll tell you that. It wasn't. It wasn't like because I was under the impression that it was gonna be like wash. It wasn't like washed. It was really like it, it didn't look wa- when they're Mike, both washed. Yo. It don't look washed. It only look washed if they're playing. If they're going up against somebody that ain't washed. Nah. If I, I mean, go out, if I go out right now and find somebody that hasn't played basketball in six months like I haven't, and we go one on one, it's gonna look. It's gonna be a slug match. It's no, gonna be some. It's, it's gonna be some legendary shit. Let me go find Imani Bates right now and say, hey, let's go one-on-one. Nah, I'm going to look washed. <laughs> we'll all look washed. I won't, get a, I won't get a shot off. It's Listen, man, they look good for their age. I think we killed them. Um, and I'm trying to do more of appreciating what we have when we got it. I mean, I appreciate it when we had it. Roy Jones re- should have. Re- yeah, I mean, Roy old, Jones. Bro, you old. This is for me, man. I, but Roy, me, Roy bro. Jones it's like boxed for, for too long. He just recently retired, like a few years ago. Yeah, 2018. After getting, I was, I was shook. after getting knocked out like ten straight times. So like, I so I, for me, that's my last memories of Roy Jones Jr. Got it. You're, I remember you're, you're old. You're, you're scoring. I remember the the greatness of him, but he should have retired earlier. It, like, there's no boxer that retires when they should. Um, There's none except for Floyd. Floyd, and he's a dickhead. So it is what and it is. And Jake Paul wants to fight him. Uh, I could see that being close. Yeah. Well, Floyd will have to put on a clinic for the hood. Like someone actually has to redeem us. Why? Who is not nah, that? Listen, Jake Paul boxes. It has nothing to do with the hood or representing or whatever. He boxes. <laughs> If He's Nate a very Robinson athletic guy. For, okay, but here's what I'm saying, right? Nate Robinson, no one wanted it to be for the hood. Nate Robinson said it was for the hood, and now the hood lost it. We need it back. We need Out it of back. all the people I could think of that I would actually say, hey, like, hey, like, he really puts on for the hood. Nate Robinson isn't that guy. He <laughs> said, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh. He can, what if I, if I go out there right now and was like, yo, this is for the hood? If I go out right now and it's like, yo, I'm going to run this six-minute mile. This is for the hood. Who's going to give a fuck? But that's because you're Big Trev. <laughs> I said nobody's going to care. Nobody cares. No, the hood is fine. The hood is to... great after Nate Ruby and Robinson get We're knocked not, out. We're not. We'll The hood is great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. The hood yo, is okay. Those are, my, those are my two topics. I wanted to <laughs> touch on Nate. The hood has never been better. <laughs> Hood is thriving. <laughs> thriving, my nigga. 